presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I leave a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Love is all around you. You search for love outside yourself when love is all around you. Love is everywhere, but you need to have the eyes to see. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 140, Nasdaq is up 116, S&P is up 10, gold contract up $29.50, trading at 1793 an ounce. We get silver up 59 cents, 23 dollars 82 cents an ounce. Late sweet crude down 209, 2 dollars 9 cents, 78 dollars 76 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note trading up 18 ticks at 131.11. The 30-year up 25 at 161.08 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 476 tra six ticks, trading out at 94.340. Euro is at 115. The yen is at 113.75, and the British pound is at 134 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, the spies have a little tougher time holding price. I expect it's going to stay up there, though. Uh, bottom line is that we got to a price point today of 467. We're at 465.59 right now. You're at, uh, at a new all-time highs. NDX 100, little dip, yeah, a lot different actually. Uh, NDX 100, I don't see this thing backing off today. Uh, you have the end, the Qs right now. They're trading up. Uh, whoop, let's, there we go. The Qs are trading up uh, five bucks, I believe. Uh, 467. And you have 31 million shares um, right now, and uh, you got to take a look at NVIDIA. I mean, and, and this is like, <laughs> this is just a mind blow. I mean, look at this thing, folks. Okay, so yesterday we closed at uh, 265. You're trading 299 right now. Uh, bottom line, monster number. And they don't come up with numbers until uh, the 17th of November. So pretty wild. Uh, inside of the NDX 100, actually, let, let's go look at Qualcomm also. Close that thing. Okay. So Qualcomm and NVIDIA are putting the juice. Close that. Nope. There we go. Okay. If we take a look at Qualcomm, Qualcomm stopped moving yesterday. Uh, oh, my God. Look at this. <laughs> you know, this is when, you know, fundamentally someone always knows something, too. So before the numbers, they stopped moving. Yesterday, we went from 135 to 138. You gapped higher today. You opened at 156. And let's put this on a weekly and take a look. Yeah, you're going to go for the highs, man. That's the bottom line. You're taking out a consolidation. Top of the consolidation is 152. You're over it. Bottom line is going for the highs. Gold. Gold contract out here caught a bid. Uh, what you have with the, and this was, you know, so what, they, what happened here is this. Before the Fed announcement yesterday, you, you had the smoke gold. And, you know, the bottom line is that uh, gold trades like this almost every day, whether it's up or down 20 bucks anyway. But, but the bottom line, they got it down. They got it from 1789 to 1758. You closed out at 1763. Today, what you have out here, and, and by the way, folks, what happens on something like this, this is what I want to show you, too, just in case you're, you're new to the commodities market. Not necessarily the commodities market, but you're looking at the commodities market, and you're trading the equity market. 
the commodities market, when you look at these prices, like up $29, well, we're really not up $29 because, well, we are up $29, but we're up $29 from 1.30 yesterday afternoon. That's how this works. If you think of that, hey, man, it doesn't seem like you know, we were up that much. Well, the bottom line is that that's because when they calculate this, they calculate it on when the pits close and in, in the gold contract, the pits close at 1.30. So that, that's what you have happening here. Uh, that being said, though, guess what? It's caught the bid. It has the volume behind it. Uh, now, that being said, let's go to take a look at the GDX, because what you have, just as one of the Tigers is saying, this is great. Uh, the bottom line is that we had gold going higher, and then the gold equities aren't holding price. You know, that being said, though, guess what? They have volume behind the move. They sold them off. They sold every one of these off, too, by the way. Um, you know, the GDX was at 3268. Uh, you're at 31.75. You get volume behind the move, though. My take is that these are ABC structures on the way up. There are definitely potential ABC structures on the way up right now. Uh, but th those those numbers are right across the board. There's no doubt. Notes and bonds. So the note and bond market. We go take a look at the 10-year first. The 10-year right now is trading up 18 ticks. Uh, we we saw we saw the first acceleration uh, about a week ago. You know, we had hit the bottom. You did that with light volume. It took off. First time we went up on the 10 years, 3 point, uh, uh, 2, 2 2.4 million contracts. Uh, today, you don't have a huge amount of contracts today. It's not, a, it's not a, an ABC up because you, you basically come back too far. But the bottom line, they want higher price. And what this is about, this is about a couple different things. The, the biggest one today happened to be, let me go over and take a look at the British pound for you, was that the Bank of England did not go up on their rates and the market was looking for them to go up on their rates so you can see the pound the pound basically went from 134 71 to 136 no 130 yeah 130 where are you 130 134 yeah 134 man 134 we're at 13499 right now so we'll see how that baby shakes out uh, it looks to me like uh, what you have out here um, well, let's go through the dollar first. So the, do the dollar is trying to basically get to the top of its consolidation. Now, this is going to be really intriguing if it can't make it. Because what you have is that the dollar got above the swings that were out here Monday and Tuesday, which is the 94.30. Uh, right now, you're at 94.350. You know, we'll see whether it can handle it. Uh, but there's still more selling up at, the, up at that high. Um, I would say that uh, gold's actually performing pretty good, and we still have the dollar at all-time highs. We get into the uh, oil market. We have with oil out here today. Oil right now is trading. This active contract is trading down two dollars and six cents. It hit a low today of seven of seventy eight twenty eight. We're at seventy eight seventy eight right now. That's uh, you heard that correct. Seventy eight point seventy eight. Okay, so oh, this one's going to be interesting. Wow. Okay, so you get volume on the way down. Now. If you're into candlestick charting, right, that could look like a last engulfing, folks, okay? And it actually is. But this is what the difference is. A last engulfing is after a downtrend. And we certainly don't have a downtrend in oil right now. It's down three days. That's not a downtrend. Um, bottom line, um, 78.54. I suspect you'll probably get some kind of a bounce there. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities we have out here today. You have uh, NVIDIA's the big dog. It's up $37. You get Advanced Micro up uh, $7. Uh, Penn National is down about fourteen sixty. We're gonna get back to Penn National. They they got some problems, and they also uh, this thing, that thing it's a monster. ABC down, folks. Qualcomm's up seventeen dollars. You got uh, uh, oh, one second. Sorry about this. Whoops. There we go. We have uh, Bank of America down 136. You got uh, Zillow uh, up 218. Uh, Modera is down 64 bucks, uh, and you got Citigroup uh, off 230. So, uh, oh, DraftKings, DraftKings down at uh, 214. Uh, so let's go over to the couple of the banks first, and uh, this is this is going to be all. This is all about interest rates, folks. So they sold the banks down. No big deal here. But there's not volume on this thing. Dollar 36 is not not the end of the world here on Bank of America. Uh, JP Morgan, we take a look at JP Morgan, JPM. What we have with JP Morgan, JP Morgan right now, that's trading down 350. That's in a consolidation. Now what JP Morgan did do is that anything under 360, I mean 167.45, uh, and you're at 167.02, that does set up, you're in a lower range. So we'll see whether it can hold that range. If it doesn't hold that range, then the bottom of that range is game, which is, could be pretty heavy for JP Morgan is that's down there at the uh, 145 area. Platinum, let's go take a look at Platinum for, for a couple of the Tigers out here. So we get the active track uh, contract. Platinum just trading 1,025. Today, uh, you're up at 310. Um, and I like what this is. Yes, the, the, the question is, do I like Platinum? Yes, I do. Uh, my take on platinum is that we're going to be making this run up to approximately uh, 1155, and right now you're at 1026. Um, you know, the, the real question is going to be uh, when can these metals really make a run? You know, that's that's the real bottom line. You know, we'll see. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, now this equity here. The tigers and tigresses are all over this, and uh, in a big way. Um, the the symbol is S A V A. Um, this this equity today. So for the year, folks. Okay, uh, the low is six dollars and seventy cents. The high is one hundred and forty-six dollars. There's a twenty-five percent uh, short position, uh, and you talk about uh, all over the place. So if we go back to uh, let's see, the 29th of February, 
that Feb no, June, July, July. So, so 29th of July. What you had out here is that this equity on a daily basis went from 146 to 90. The following day, it gets all the way down to 65. Then what does it do? It does a counter trend bounce, gets all the way up to 136 again, and then really basically lays down to $39. So what you had with this, folks, is that this is a, a biotech number one. Um, and then what you also had is that you had, the, um, when this got destroyed, uh, the bottom line is that the, they were speculating that it was data manipulation. Uh, and now another, let's see, who came out today and said they don't see any, uh, let's see. Uh, bottom line is that another, uh, not firm, I believe, just another paper come out today saying that it wasn't manipulated. And what you had is that they, uh, thank you, the Journal of uh, Neuroscience came out today saying it wasn't manipulated. Uh, bottom line, they halted the stock. Uh, <laughs> so the, the stock had opened out here today at uh, $69, went up to 100 Trading out here right now uh, at 82. Um, and so the question is, let's see, my thoughts on this baby. So, you know, what, what you have is that, yeah, you have a highly volatile stock. You get volume behind the move out here today, there's no doubt. Um, you know, I wouldn't be buying it, that's for sure. You know, you, you, what you have out here, um, it doesn't mean that it won't go higher when I'm saying not buying it, but it's already given up, you know, 100 to 62. Uh, so I suspect this is going to consolidate more. That's, that's how this works out. What you do have with this equity is this, okay? Is that as, see that type of volume, 36 million? Well, you always like to see that type of volume when you're going into, you know, we're going into 43 million. It took that over. You're going into 25 million. Most times what ends up happening with something like this, though, you get a, and when you get a downdraft, that, that, that is that dramatic, you got to get into that three or four times before it takes out the supply line because the supply line is pretty huge inside of this equity. That's kind of that that is how these things work out. We go take a look at uh, let's take a look at Airbnb because Airbnb after the close today is going to be coming out with their numbers. Uh, Airbnb right now is up five dollars forty eight cents. You're trading at one seventy eight, and this is going to be intriguing, man. Because my take is that Airbnb is going to break out top side in a big way. Um, and where I'm, go where I'm going, folks, I like the setup, number one. It's going after the B point today, 176.96. It needed 4 million shares to be an ABC structure on the way up. We already have 6.2 million shares. So this is a nice setup. And if I, if I even don't take the ABC structure on it, if I just take the consolidation on it, you're still going to get a monster move out of this. Uh, so we'll see where this shakes out. And then, And where I'm going also is this. So watch this. If we go take a look at Marriott, Marriott, so Uber is de a defective, uh, hold on one second, I mean Airbnb um, is a de facto hotel, right? Well, Marriott came out with their numbers and they were monster numbers. When Marriott came out with their numbers, bottom line, equity yesterday went from a price point of uh, 157 to 166. So I expect what you're going to see uh, when Airbnb does come out with numbers, they're going to come out with some decent numbers. They, they, they're telling us fundamentally that they're big numbers. So look, look at this number, man. This is like crazy. Whoa. Last quarter, they did 1.3 billion. They're looking to do 2.1 billion. And they're looking to bring 76 cents to the bottom line. Last quarter, they lost 10, cent, 10 cents. This quarter, they look to make 76 cents. So I'm not quite sure how, I mean, is every, have we all broken out in, in the last 90 days? I'm not sure. Hey, we'll see where those numbers come in. but. Um, nice setup. It's, it's definitely a nice setup for higher prices. We go take a look at, uh, let's, let's take a look at another one, Canopy. We'll take a look at Canopy growth. Canopy's coming out, I think, tomorrow morning. Let me see this one. Yeah, this is before the market tomorrow morning. And the real kicker on Canopy is going to be, um, I got to do it, right? All these pots, you know, stocks have got smoked. <laughs> they have. There's no doubt about that. Okay, so... If we, take, if we take a look at Canopy, what you're going to see, there's been a one-way route on the way down. Um, the, the high that was generated out here, it was, it was generated in February of 2021. 
at $56, and it's been a one-way route all the way down. The low was established last week at, well, we, it may be the low at $12.60. My take is that these are bought, well, canopies bought them right now. And the reason I'm saying that is this, is that you can see you know, the last time that we had big volume on the way down happened to be on the 20th of September. 1335, we did 7 million shares. Then we tested that with 4 million shares. Then we tested that with 4.3 million shares. Now, in between that, you can see some buy-in that came in on the uh, 14th of October, and then more buy-in on the 19th, and then more buy-in on the, on the 20th. My take is that they're going to come out with a little surprise and probably pop the stock two or three bucks. Right here. We'll come right back, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 118. You get NASDAQ up 125. S&Ps are up 13. Let's go take a look at uh, Great Panther. So Great Panther uh, the low out here today is 37 cents. The high is 116. One of the tigers are asking, is it going BK? So let's just look at this for a second, see what we have here. So, okay, next quarter, they're looking at, they took in 48 million last quarter. They're looking for 60 million this quarter. You got to drop down for sure. Well, I see. Well, you're at 39 cents, you can get to 22. That's, 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 yeah, you can get to 22 cents. That's, that's what's happening out here. 
Uh, I believe what they did is that, let me look at this for a second. Oops. Well, I can, I'll go over these numbers in a bit. Um, most of the time, even with a great panther, uh, I would say that no, they're not going BK. Because uh, when you take a look at these numbers, I can't do this fast enough, but what you do have is that they're going to lose seven tenths of one cent. The bottom line is that evidently the silver they're taking out of the ground is costing them too much money. And most of these companies, these small companies, this, like a Great Panther, um, a Vista, a, um, these small gold and silver companies, most of the time they have plenty of cash, folks, okay? Um, it, it's, it's actually pretty weird that when you look at other companies that they can jazz up and go to the moon, uh, they normally have enough cash and they're not, the, the debt structure's not huge. The reason that the debt structure's not huge is that it's very tough to get uh, financing inside of the bank business. That's what that comes down to. And if we talk about the, the gold market in general, uh, what came out today is that Barrick came out with their numbers today. Um, the low seventeen dollars, the high is twenty nine. Now, the the numbers, okay, you know, weren't that great. But the bottom line is that uh, the CEO had already given the market heads up on what what was happening. So you can gold production was down five five percent year over year. Bottom line, though, um, the estimate was one point one. It came in at one point zero nine million ounces. Um, their adjusted earnings per share. Okay, what happened there is that the estimate was, uh, well, last year was 41 cents. The estimate was 23 cents. They came in with 24 cents. You can see that if the, you have a CEO that prepares the marketplace, the bottom line is that, you know, they, don't, they won't basically take the stock south. And this has had a problem. There's no doubt. You know, this has been consolidating. But when you look back six months ago, six months ago, the stock was at $24. You're at 18. And they are going to be paying... Uh, their dividend, they're paying a dividend of 1.92%. Uh, Penn, Penn, let's go take a look at this. Yeah, thank you, thanks, Dan. I, I wanted to bring this up. So you get a couple different things happening with Penn. Uh, Penn, Penn, Penn National, this is. The low for the year is uh, $56. The high is 142 Now, the low is established out here today. They have a couple different things happening. Let's just go look at it technically. So technically... This is going to be a monster ABC down, but wait, you see, this is an ABC down of six dollars, I think. That's what I think, what I think when I did this. Okay, so yeah, one forty-two, sixty-one. So yeah, forty eighty dollars. Yeah, it's an ABC down of six dollars and forty cents. Now, that sounds bizarre, but guess what? It traded at three dollars and seventy-five cents at the low in March. Now. It looks to me, you know, we're at 59. I think 34 is game. I mean, I, that's, that's what it looks like. So they missed their numbers. But then on top of that, let's see what they have to say here. Um, Dave Portnoy, they have a problem with that, too. But I'm trying to find the numbers for you first, OK? Because what had, what had happened is that they came out with their numbers and the bottom line is that they didn't hit their numbers also. Okay, here we go right here. I got it right here. Okay, so come on. Give me all the numbers right there. There we go. Okay. So revenues, uh, they took in $1.5 billion. That was an increase uh, of $382 million from a year ago. Uh, their net income was uh, $86 million. Uh, they had a margin of 5.7%. That's not a big margin at all. Uh, compared to uh, 141 million uh, and a margin of 12%. So see, see that number right there? That's going to be real. That's crucial. So net income, uh, bottom line, you can, you can see the margin was 5.7. Margin last year was 12.5. Big number. There's no doubt about it. Um, adjusted earnings per share, bottom line, uh, 340. Six million. Uh, last year was 52. They have problems. Now, on top of that, and this will be interesting to see how they deal with this, is that they, uh, the, let's see, who's saying this? Uh, 
that it, you know these it really doesn't matter who's saying it once once it starts happening uh, this guy's gonna be gone so and this guy is very important to them for betting so um, Penn National uh, went to the lowest level as Business Insider Report cited several women it didn't name alleging sexual misconduct by Dave Portnoy the, the founder of Barstool Sports Penn National about 36 percent of Portnoy's Barstool Sports in January of 2020 uh, the thing that's going to be really intriguing with this one is that, okay, like, what are you going to do with it? Uh, because my understanding of, you know, of Boston Little Sports is that this is a uh, one-man deal, uh, meaning, yeah, there's more than people than, than Dave, but Dave is the driving force uh, in all of this. So, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see where it shakes out. But most of the time, once something like this happens, folks, uh, they have to deal with it. So... Uh, We'll see where that shakes out. Now, Bitcoin. Let's go over to Bitcoin because this is really a trip, uh, what we have happening up here. So the city of Miami, folks, okay, uh, what the city of Miami did, and we had brought this up when it happened, okay. Uh, now, just so you, I think it was a Miami or Miami, Miami Beach. One second, hold it. Because Miami Beach is tiny compared to, well, anyway, to make a long story short, the new elected mayor, the mayor-elect, uh, Eric Adams in New York City, is saying that uh, he is going to take his first three paychecks in Bitcoin. And the reason he's doing this is that he wants New York City to be the epicenter of Bitcoin. New York Mayor uh, elect uh, Eric Adams said he would take his first three paychecks in Bitcoin when he takes over City Hall. His quote, New York City is going to be the center of the cryptocurrency industry and other fast growing innovative industries, he said on Twitter on Thursday. Um, you know, bottom line is that we'll, we'll see where this sh where shakes out. Is it, yeah, no, the mayor of Miami was the first one. Um, Adams uh, uh, said he wanted new to turn New York into a crypto-friendly city, and he wants to explore a New York coin similar to Miami's. Uh, he said that uh, at an interview today um, on Bloomberg. Um, the, the, the mayor of, let's see... He said the Miami coin that is doing very well. The bottom line is that Miami, too, I had brought that up a couple days ago. What, the, what Miami did do is that they, they first sold the, they had bought, you know, some uh, cryptos. They allowed people to do business in, with cryptos, um, and they sold a few of them uh, last week. Dow Industrials, Dow right now uh, down 109, NASDAQ up 114, S&P's up 12 and a half. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 127. Nasdaq's up 100. S&P's up 9.5. Now, let's go take a look at uh, Bitcoin. So this is going to be really intriguing, man. Uh, you get cities that are going to, well, we'll see whether New York starts accepting them as payment. Can you imagine the... Well, hey, we'll see what happens. I mean, the volatility, I just, I still can't understand how that you're going to buy and stuff and sell stuff with Bitcoin. Um, you know, but guess what? Well, we'll find out. Uh, and the reason I'm saying that, of course, folks, is that you have the aspect that, yeah, you can buy it, you know, if you bought it today at 61000 well, yeah, you know, great. It might be 64000 tomorrow, but it might be 56000 also. And that doesn't happen. Um, we haven't seen that happen with the U.S. doll. Let's put it that way. There's, there's definitely third world countries um, <laughs> that uh, that happens to with their currency. Uh, Bitcoin right now is trading down uh, 15 at 22 year. It, it, Bitcoin's in a consolidation right now. Um, it, it's surprising, actually. And th this is where this gets intriguing sometimes, um, is that. You have that news coming out of what Eric Adams is saying for New York City and Bitcoin's lower because that to me would be a big good news. I mean, um, if New York City starts accepting Bitcoin uh, for paying your bills, paying taxes, um, it's going to be a big deal. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And, and I would say that that's where they're probably going because if Eric Adams is going to basically accept Bitcoin as payment, well, that means that the city of New York City, number one, has to buy Bitcoin. That, that's, that's, so we'll see where that shakes out. But that, that's how it's set up at this particular point. Uh, Yelp. Let's take a look at Yelp. Yelp's also going to be coming out with numbers, folks. They're coming out with numbers uh, after the close today. Okay, this is cool. So what is Yelp? Let me pull this up here for a second. Where is Yelp? Yelp, Yelp, Yelp. So Yelp, they're looking for, uh, where's my? Whoops. Sorry about this. Yeah, I'll do this in a second. Yelp. I got another screen up. Sorry about this, folks. But just see what the expected move is in Yelp. It was A E L P. Uh, so the expected move is $3.70. And you get a $39 stock. Uh, the low for the year is $20. The high is 43 Now, this has been in a consolidation. And... What we'll see here uh, is going to get interesting, and my take is that this is actually going to get up to somewhere 42, 43. The reason I'm saying that, it gave it up in space the last time that uh, came out with the numbers. Uh, it opened at uh, 43. Uh, that was the high. Sold off all day, and but guess what? It sold off with volume. So when you get to a higher high, you have volume. Bottom line, that's most of the time that's where it likes to go. Uh, the they're all about advertising, folks. That's the real bottom line. And, you know, businesses are reopening again. They're looking to do $261 million, and they're looking to bring uh, two-tenths of, uh, well, yeah, uh, well, two pennies to the bottom line. No big deal. There's no doubt about that. Um, and as a company, they are not growing uh, as a company. They're, you know, right now, right now in the United States, over a three-year period, they're only growing three-tenths of 1%. Um, you know, we'll see whether they can um, get something going. Uh, 
you know, for a small business, depending what kind of small business you have, um, Yelp is pretty cool, man. You know, uh, it, it works for certain businesses, that's for sure. There's no two ways about that. We got to take a look at the uh, XAU, the HUI, and all of these, these, the way these goals are set up, folks, uh, looks to me like we have ABC structures on the way up. Uh, XAU didn't hold price today. HUI didn't hold price today. But what we're going to have is that we're going to have highs out here that have volumes behind the move. And then we're going to take a look at how we came out of that low. So we came out of the low. If we take a look at the XAU, what you're going to see is this. We were coming into uh, 31 million shares, and we did 29 when we start going high yesterday. So the rejection, the rejection of lower price yesterday at 127, that was in the XAU. If we take a look at the Gold Bugs Index, uh, we had rejection out here. Put the volume behind this. We had a rejection of uh, 244, and right now you were, we did uh, 21 million, and you were going into 23 million. So in both cases, you came into the strength, you did less volume, you rejected lower price, and and what, what's also going on the day of uh, October 22nd, folks, that had volume as we had gone up topside. We had volume up at that level. So what I expect we're going to see is we're going to see some good action up there. Uh, did Uber already come out with numbers? Oh, nice. Okay, so Uber's coming out today, too. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's go take a look at it. So the low in Uber is 38, the high 64. We're trading at 45 right now. Let's see what they're looking at. They're gonna, that's going to be a big acceleration. Well, look at the, yeah, that's, well, it's 400 million acceleration. They're going to be looking to do 4.4 billion, and they're still losing money. Uh, they're going to be losing 32 cents on that number. They're still growing in a big way, though. They're still growing by 5% a year in the United States. They're growing by 6% a year in the world. And if we take a look at this, how this baby's set up. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Put this on a weekly. Okay, so you, you got a big sign of strength. So. Just look at the sign of strength saying it wants to go to 57. No, 52. 52.36. That's how that baby's set up. 52.36. Let me see. U-B-E-R. So Uber has an, expect, has an expected move of $3. That, that's all they got, $3. Yeah, $3.64. That's a small move, man. Yeah, $3.64. For Uber, that's, that's, that's definitely a small move. Yeah, because watch the difference here, man. When you take a look at uh, Airbnb, I think that Airbnb, this is like a $13 move. Oh, man. So Airbnb is a, a 14, a, B, watch this. This is the expected move on the Thinkorswim platform is $14.5 right now. Uh, now, Airbnb is up six forty six. Bottom line is that I think you're going to get that move, and I think it's going to be the top side. But... When you have an expected move, folks, what happens is this, is that the expected move is from the option market, and, and it just means that that is going up or down the 14. It doesn't tell you, <laughs> wouldn't, it, wouldn't that be a trip if you had kind of some kind of machine telling you which way it was going to go. Now, that's not the case. But many times, that expected move, when you're setting up an option trade, you want to be looking at that expected move because more times than not, the expected move, it gets very close to that expected move. So when you're setting up spreads, whether it's debit call spreads, whether it's call spreads, credit call spreads, condors, whatever you're setting up, you want to be, you want to understand what that move is so that you can basically set up that trade within that move. That's kind of how you, you know, risk, defined risk versus your reward is set up. Now, with Airbnb, it's a very, it's a, it's a large one up there, man. If you're going after the, uh, uh, 85s to 95s. And right now we're at uh, 79, 179. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 100. We have the uh, NASDAQ uh, up 100. And you got the S&Ps up 16. We'll come right back. Sharp.
sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down 76. NASDAQ, check it out, up 120, folks. NASDAQ just got another goose, uh, the composite uh, up here uh, in spades. Uh, we take a look at the uh, NDX 100. It's going to be the same deal inside the NDX. You're going to finish at highs. NDX right now trading up 482, 398 uh, flat out, uh, 398.15, actually. Um, the bottom line is that this, you talk about a one-way move, man. I mean, you know, from, well, right there. That's going back. The 22nd, it's totally went up. And then what it ended up happening, you can really say this has been a one-way move going all the way from 356. Right now you're at 398. So there's no doubt it's big numbers. Uh, we get over and we take a look at King Dollar because what you're going to have overnight, well, actually, let's go look at the yen because overnight, uh, if you're in the metals market, folks, they're going to be all about the yen. Uh, the yen, you know, is still in a consolidation. Now, the yen broke topside in a big way about three weeks ago. Uh, bottom line is that you're in a consolidation right now. It's pushing the lower end of the consolidation, uh, which is the 113.26. Right now, you're at 113.72. So we'll see whether we get that uh, juice that's in there. And King Dollar, King Dollar's at the top of its consolidation. Uh, let's try to break through. Let's see if it got through with doesn't we're up 459 ticks right now you are, are through it because the top of the, that is uh, 90 94 300 and we're 23 ticks above that because we're at 93 uh, 94 rather 
324. So that does say that it could go to the high. We'll, we'll see. Um, the bottom line is that it's had a tough time each and every time it gets up to those bigger numbers. So good numbers coming out tonight. We got, uh, what do we got? Yeah, we got Yelp coming out tonight. We got Airbnb coming out tonight. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot more of them, too. Always remember, folks, the back and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Come back tomorrow morning. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Tommy kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Mm -hmm. Look at him, folks. Mm -hmm.